Breaking news this morning, Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia has just said he is a no on President Biden's cornerstone legislation, Build Back Better. Take a listen. I cannot vote to continue with this piece of legislation. I just can't. I've tried everything humanly possible. I can't get there. You're done. This is, this is a no. This is a no on this legislation. I have tried everything I know to do. Well, I think he's going to have a lot of explaining to do to the people of West Virginia. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And you want to know the number one question I get asked every single day. It doesn't matter if I'm at the grocery store, the airport, visiting my doctor at the VA. It's always, will you primary Joe Manchin? Not to mention hundreds of messages I get every single week on social media asking the same question. I shake my head every time, and here's why. As Democrats, we're short-sighted. Republicans play the long game. They think five to ten years ahead. And with that logic, that's what they've been able to do to completely control the federal bench all the way up to the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, Democrats chase the shiny object, and I'll be honest, sometimes I do that as well. We are willing to raise half a billion dollars to defeat Ted Cruz, who gets one vote in the United States Senate. And then we disregard Senator Dan Sullivan from Alaska, who also gets one vote. We could have won and picked up a Senate seat in Alaska had we invested just a little bit more in Al Gross last cycle. Now, I don't want to harp on the past. I'm frustrated, and so are you. But to answer everyone's question, no, I don't plan on running against Senator Manchin in 2024. And even if I was thinking about that, it wouldn't help us today. What we need to be focused on today is controlling things that we can control. This year, we have some outstanding Democrats, many of whom I've endorsed for the United States Senate in states like Ohio, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Florida. We need to win those four seats and we can win all four. Don't listen to the crap you're seeing on cable news that says otherwise. And we can forget about Manchin and Cinema and their votes. Senator Manchin has abandoned the Democratic Party, but more importantly, he has abandoned the good people of West Virginia. Senator Manchin drives around the poorest state in the nation in his Maserati SUV and lounges around with his Republican Senate colleagues in his multi-million dollar yacht. He does not understand the poverty that the children of West Virginia suffer from, or maybe he does and he just doesn't care. I don't really know, and I don't really care about Joe Manchin anymore. Look, as far as I'm concerned, Manchin works for McConnell. It's funny because he brags all day about being his own man, when in reality, all he does is exactly what his billionaire donors tell him to do. He is a slave to their dollars, and that is his legacy. I need everybody to listen up and listen up right now. We cannot lose this fight. If we do, it will be the American children that will suffer. So for everybody crying about how they will no longer vote for Democrats, I want to ask you what it is exactly in the Republican Party that you believe in. What do they stand for? Why do you think that McConnell and McCarthy running the show will be better for America? It is time we stop whining and get to work, mobilize, organize, and bring back the same level of energy that we had in 2016, or we will be living 2016 sooner than you think. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.